Other problems with overfishing have to do really with um, the food web itself, but a very interesting um, phenomenon that's just been recognized in recent years is something called fishing-induced evolution. And it goes something like this. If you always target the larger fish, then the fish that survive and reproduce the most are going to be the smaller fish. And this has been noted with cod populations and other kinds of populations that humans are actually causing fish species to evolve towards smaller sizes. This is remarkable, isn't it? But of course, it makes sense. If large fish are always getting caught, then you'd want to be a smaller species to where you're not getting caught as much. And so this is kind of an un something that people didn't think of previously. And so when we leave the fish alone, we don't have large fish anymore. We still end up with smaller fish. And of course, people like larger fish because it has more yield and those kinds of things. So um, it's something that was recognized in populations. Why aren't they coming back? Um, because we created, in some sense, or put pressure on species so that they evolve towards a different reproductive rate and a different size. Another one is something called fishing down the food web. And it has to do with the practice of fishing towards a fishing or targeting smaller fishes at lower trophic levels when the big ones are all gone. And fishing down the food web has some uh, tremendous consequences for ecosystems as well. Well, as we see in this figure, and you can check this out in figure 14, 18, there's a lot of other um, things that go on with fisheries interactions, of course, killing fish. Um, is the, the direct way that we fish them. We change biological interactions. Of course, as we drag nets across the seafloor, we change the habitat. Um, and many times as we catch fish, we um, also catch things that we don't want to catch, like sea turtles and dolphins and those kinds of things. So bycatch is a big uh, issue as well. And we have mortality associated with destroying the habitats of organisms and destroying other things, especially deep coral gardens and all those kinds of things. And we end up with a completely altered ecosystem and that altered ecosystem may no longer even support the fish that we originally fished for. So there are some tremendous consequences to both fishing for smaller and smaller fish as well as the fishing practices themselves. And as it says right here, you might just fish yourself out of business because you've changed the ecosystem so dramatically both in its physical structure as well as the organisms that live there that it no longer supports large fishes anymore. And if you remember about the squid taking over the world ocean, this is one of the reasons why. We've removed all our predators. There's what's left. So now fishermen who previously made a living off of tuna are now switching to making a living off of squid. And somehow the idea of a squid sandwich versus a tuna sandwich in the future probably isn't as appealing. It just doesn't sound as appealing um, to come home and have mom make you a squid sandwich. Sorry, there are no tuna anymore.